JLG Industries presents the function check for JLG boom lifts. You will learn how to conduct a proper function check with boom controls and safety devices. By viewing this video, you are accepting responsibility for the safe and proper operation of your machine and for complying with all applicable laws and regulations covering its proper use. You must not operate any machine until you have read and understood the operation and safety manual and any other required manuals and have completed training under the supervision of an experienced and qualified operator. This video is one part of JLG's safety series and is intended to serve as a supplement to your machine's required manuals, located in the manual storage holder on the platform. These documents must be kept with the machine at all times and if not available, must be obtained by contacting your local JLG distributor or at www.jlg.com. Before using each day or when changing operators, you must conduct a pre-operational check of your machine. This video focuses on the function check only. Always refer to your operation and safety manual for the complete pre-start inspection procedure. The function check ensures all functions operate smoothly with precise control, stop upon release, and the controls return back to neutral. It also provides the opportunity to visually inspect items that could not be completely seen during the walk around, such as boom sections and extendable axles. The machine shown in this video is the 800AJ, a combustion engine powered articulating boom lift, which may not be representative of your JLG boom lift. Your lift may be a different model, have a different power source, or have a different boom configuration, but the function check will be similar. Always follow the daily inspection in your model's operation and safety manual. Although it may appear time consuming, once you become familiar with the procedure, you can complete it more efficiently. If at any time you discover any damage or discrepancy, shut down the machine immediately. Report the problem to the proper maintenance personnel. Do not operate the machine until it is declared safe for operation. Before starting your check, Verify you are using the proper personal protective equipment. JLG requires all personnel on the platform to wear a full body harness with a lanyard attached to an authorized anchorage point. JLG recommends that all platform and ground personnel wear approved head protection. You are responsible for wearing the required personal protective equipment as it applies to your work. Ensure the machine is on a firm level surface in an area free of overhead and ground level obstructions with no load in the platform. Ensure that you have enough clearance around the machine and underneath the platform to safely operate all functions. Ensure the turntable lock is disengaged. Always start with the ground controls. This is the control station that can override the platform controls in an emergency. Turn the ground platform key to ground and pull out the emergency stop switch. As soon as the emergency stop switch is pulled out, all applicable ground indicator lights illuminate briefly for a bulb check. Activate the engine start button until the engine starts, then release. If using a diesel engine machine, wait for the glow plug light to go off before starting the engine. Ensure all of the indicator lights are off. Let the engine warm up before operating. Each ground control switch is located with directional arrows next to the component it controls. Most models have an enable feature. You must activate and hold down this switch while operating another function. Ensure the functions do not work when the enable switch is not activated. Now test each function to ensure it operates properly. Develop a workflow by starting at the bottom right corner of the ground control box and work your way up to the top left corner. If equipped with a tower boom, you must test the tower boom operation sequence. First, operate the tower telescope switch and attempt to extend the tower fly. The fly boom must not extend. Next, operate the tower lift up switch and fully elevate the tower boom. Then, extend the tower fly. 
It must extend only when the tower boom is fully elevated. Next, operate the tower lift down switch and attempt to lower the tower boom. The tower boom must not lower with the tower fly extended. This concludes the tower boom operation sequence test. Retract the tower fly, then lower the tower boom. Next, test the main boom, the jib, and the platform. When you lower the main boom, test the emergency stop switch. Lower the boom until it is a few inches above the starting position. Depress the emergency stop switch while lowering. The function must stop. If operating properly, pull out the switch. Next, if your machine has auxiliary power, test the function. Finish lowering the boom while holding down the auxiliary switch. If your machine has a manual descent system, finish lowering the boom according to the operation and safety manual. This concludes testing the ground controls. You are now ready to check the platform controls. Turn the ground platform key to platform. Use extreme caution when entering and leaving the platform. Always face the machine and use the three-point contact method. This means that one hand and two feet, or two hands and one foot, are in contact with the machine and or the ground at all times. Ensure the entrance is secured. Properly secure the lanyard from your fall protection device to one of the designated anchorage points. Pull out the emergency stop switch. As soon as it is pulled out, the machine performs a diagnostic check. All applicable platform indicator lights will illuminate briefly for a bulb check, and the alarm will sound. If your machine has a foot switch, test it by depressing the switch and attempting to start the engine. The engine must not start. Remove your foot and start the engine. Next, test the controls with your foot off of the switch. The functions must not work. Some boom lifts have a trigger switch. Test the controls without enabling the switch. The functions must not work. Now test the seven second timer. Depress the foot switch, wait seven seconds, then attempt to activate a control. It must not work. Depress the foot switch again, then activate a control. Test the horn and all of the boom functions. If equipped with a tower boom, you must test the tower boom operation sequence from the platform. Ensure the tower fly does not extend when the tower boom is not fully elevated. When you lower the boom, test the emergency stop switch. Lower the boom until it is a few inches above the starting position. Depress the emergency stop switch while lowering. The function must stop. If operating properly, pull out the switch. Next, if your machine has auxiliary power, test it from the platform. Finish lowering the boom while holding down the auxiliary switch and depressing the foot switch. Restart the engine. Telescope out a few feet, then test the function speed knob while telescoping in. Next, check the drive and steer functions. Ensure the drive speed torque switch is in the fast position. Now drive forward, then backward. Lift the main boom above horizontal and ensure the drive speed is cut back. Lower the main boom below horizontal, then test the stopping distance by driving at full speed, then letting go of the drive control. The operator needs to be aware of the stopping distance because each machine varies and may stop further than other machines. Test the steering. Next, check the brakes. With the boom in the transport position, drive onto a grade that does not exceed the maximum grade ability and stop. The machine must hold on the grade. Next, if equipped, check the drive orientation override switch. First, position the boom over one of the rear axles. Next, 
Match the color of the directional arrow on the frame with the color of the directional arrow at the drive controller to the intended direction of travel. Attempt to drive without engaging the switch. It must not drive. Next, test the three second enable timer by engaging the switch and waiting a few seconds. Attempt to drive. Now, re-engage the switch, then drive. If operating an ultra boom, there are a few additional functions you must check, such as the axle extend retract switch, the capacity select switch, and the boom control select switch. Always refer to your model's manual for a complete list of functions and how to check them. This concludes the function check. To review, all functions must operate smoothly with precise control. Check the ground controls before checking the platform controls. Check all safety devices specific to your model. And if the machine does not operate properly, shut down the machine immediately. Report the problem to the proper maintenance personnel. Do not operate the machine until it is declared safe for operation. By conducting a proper function check, you can complete your work safely using your machine. Safe operation is critical to avoid potential hazards. Remember, you are responsible for completing the proper training, for reading and understanding the required manuals, and for complying with all applicable laws and regulations. If you require further clarification on operating your machine, contact JLG Product Safety and Reliability at 877-554-7233, plus one, seven one seven four eight five six five nine one if outside of the United States or by email at productsafety at jlg.com. JLG Ground Support, reaching out to help you reach your potential.